The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Hi, and welcome to the Sunday Mass brought to you by the Passionist Community. I'm Father Edward Beck here at St. Malachy's in Midtown Manhattan. It's August 31st. It's the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Jim O'Shea from our residence in Pelham. Our lector is Jackie Perez. And our congregation, the Ladies of Charity from the Archdiocese of New York and Cardinal Spelman High School from the Bronx. If you have the prayer guide, again, it's the 22nd Sunday. Let's begin celebrating together. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. With your spirit. As we celebrate the Eucharist today, Jesus, in the gospel, asks us to take up our cross and to follow after him, to live lives of service, of laying down our lives for one another. And so we begin this Eucharist today by asking God to feed us and to strengthen us so that we might be, according to the example of Jesus, people who really live lives of love of compassion and forgiveness. And so we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us for our sins, and bring us all one day to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are the God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines, and my soul thirsts like the earth. Lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. A 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord. No such thing should ever happen to you. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and lose their life? Or what can one give in exchange for one's life? For the Son of Man will come, and his angels and his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to their conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus uh, a middle-aged married man was reflecting on his life. He had four uh, children, he had a, a wife of some 20 years, and he said as he thought about his life, as he reflected about it, he said, you know, about 80% of the time, I'm really happy. I'm happy with my marriage. I'm happy with my kids. I'm happy with everything that has gone on in my life. About 80% of the time, he said, but that other 20%, sometimes I just want to run away and never come back. He said, sometimes the stress and the problems and the fighting and the disappointment. He said, that 20% is really, really tough. But he said at the end, you know, 80-20, I guess that's not too bad. But I just wish I didn't have that 20%. You know, the readings today, we listen to kind of the, 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 the reflection on this reality for all of us, that if we commit ourselves to another human being, to a group of human beings, to a cause, to an ideal, some of it will be very, very good. But there's always going to be a part of it that entails suffering. 80, 20. You know, listen to the first reading today where Jeremiah 
talks about his vocation from God. Here Jeremiah was called to be a prophet by God and God chooses him to go and speak to the people, gives him this lofty role. And here Jeremiah today is, is in the pits and he speaks to God honestly. He said, you asked me to do this, but my life is miserable. He said, all I get is, is problems and rebuke and people don't listen to me and they insult me. You asked me to do this and all I have are problems. But at the end he says, you know, even if I wanted to stop doing it, I couldn't stop doing it because I'm committed to you. And if I try to stop not to, not to speak, the word that you've given me, it burns in my heart and I have to speak. So strong was his commitment to God and to God's vision. And in the gospel today, Jesus and Peter, you know, Jesus honestly talks to the disciples. He says, now I must go to Jerusalem. And when I go to Jerusalem, I'll be killed and I'll be raised. And Peter says, no, 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 no. You know, Peter didn't like the 20%. But Jesus was honest with his disciples. If we're going to be complete, completely committed to the reign of God, to the reign of my Father, if we're going to continue this ministry of reconciliation, of forgiveness, of justice, of breaking boundaries, of creating the world in God's vision, then there will be suffering. There will be consequences. And I will pay a price. Peter wrestled with that. He loved the 100%, but didn't like the 20 so as we listen to these readings today, perhaps all of us as human beings who have committed ourselves to others, whether in marriage, whether in family, struggling to love our children or our grandchildren or our parents or our friends or our church members, or struggling to, uh, to, to love the people that, that populate the planet, some who are like us and some very different from us, if we are committed to that struggle, we will struggle. You know, Maybe 80%, maybe 20%. But what Jesus reminds us today is losing our life in a struggle to love is really in the end what it's all about. Being willing to lose our life in the struggle to love, even with the struggle that that entails, is really all it's about. So as we come to the Eucharist and Jesus himself lays down his life feeds us with his body and blood, gives his life that we might have life, perhaps we can take some comfort in the joys of our 80% of our life and in those very difficult and sometimes even dark moments of the 20% when we struggle to continue to really commit ourselves in laying down our lives for one another. Let us call upon the Lord our refuge in every age and offer fervent prayer for all in need. Our response is, Lord, hear us, O Lord. For an end to all war and violence and that God's peace may reign, we pray to the Lord, hear us, hear us O Lord. Lord. For all workers this Labor Day, may they find rest from their labor during this holiday weekend and for all those seeking meaningful employment, we pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners placed next to the altar, and for John and Dorothy Walker, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord. Lord. Lord, your Holy Spirit guides us on the path of discipleship. By our prayers, renew the power of that spirit in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
And now pray together, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our good and the good of all this holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and ever-living God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise your mighty works. And so now with the angels, we praise you and in joyful celebration, we acclaim. holy indeed, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by settling down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Timothy, our Bishop, and with all who serve and lead your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy and have mercy on us all. That with the Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, with Paul of the cross and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may be merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And with great confidence, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. And grant us peace in our day, that in your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on our faith, the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And so may the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And here and at home we offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. this bread from the heavenly table we beseech you Lord 
that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. It's been wonderful celebrating with you today. Thanks so much for joining us. Special thanks to the Ladies of Charity from the Archdiocese of New York and Cardinal Spelman High School from the Bronx for joining us here at St. Malachy's to celebrate. Thanks to our parishioners, you, who join us each week via television and the internet. Thanks for your support, for your prayers, and the donations that you send in so that we can continue to be here. Again, we have new members each week because of the internet and the television, and some of you are here for the first time. So I invite, once again, if you haven't been to the new website, the totally redesigned one, please visit it at thesundaymass.org and learn how you can be more a part of the Sunday Mass as a parishioner. That you can sponsor a Mass, you can have a loved one named during the Mass as a prayer of the faithful, or you can enter to be part of the giving tree at the Sunday Mass, all on the new website at thesundaymass.org. Please visit us there and visit us back here next Sunday to celebrate again. Have a great week, everybody. was a paid program for Passionist Communications.